1993 law set aside a large tract of land in Dededo, just south of Ukudu High School, to be leased to civic and cultural organizations to build clubhouses or places to gather. A number of Filipino groups, the Palau Association and others, have already been allocated lots, and three bills by Senator Clint Rigel would approve similar leases for the Kosrayan, Chukis, and Kuchuchut groups to build their own cultural centers. So that they can offer culturally based outreach and programs that I believe will ultimately improve the quality of life on Guam and foster friendships and collaboration between the people from the FSM who now reside on Guam and the Chamorro people. State Clearinghouse Director Stephanie Flores says the administration supports such centers which could serve as a positive influence for Islander youths. What we have found is that a number of ch children, particularly those who are at risk benefit from being proud and understanding their cultural identity, whatever that might be. But Nashon Chamorro's Catherine Flores McCollum says recent law provides that government lands not dedicated for public use should go to the Chamorro Land Trust or Ancestral Lands Commission. Why do we have to take homeland, land that should go back to our people? My people are, are still disassociated with trying to get their lands back. They're still disassociated from being on the list to be called to have a, a property that they're going to live in. Remember what we have went through. Don't let us go through this again. Chamorro Land Trust land should be Chamorro Land Trust people that should be in that property. I'm sorry, that's how I feel. But Gita director Melanie Mendiola, speaking in her personal capacity, spoke of her father, who is half Kosrayan, and the positive contributions all cultures make. I don't really care where your parents are from, but if you're here to make a contribution to this land, to Guam, thank you and welcome home. These organizations, from everything that I've learned about them over the last few years, are here to serve, and so I believe the answer the legislature should give them is also thank you and welcome home. It's my hope that while we all celebrate and share our unique cultures, that we will all ultimately see that we have a lot more in common with one another than we realize. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.